A voting machine company is suing Rudy Giuliani for more than a billion dollars, accusing him of spreading false information about election results here in Georgia and across the country. Our Joe Hinkey is taking a closer look at the allegations in this defamation suit. Throughout the 107-page federal lawsuit filed Monday, Georgia is named dozens of times in the lawsuit, quotes Rudy Giuliani on Twitter, his radio show, and in various other media, making baseless claims of the presidential election being rigged by Dominion Voting Systems, the company that supplies Georgia's voting machines. Here's one quote from Giuliani's January 8th radio show. Why would the state of Georgia hire a foreign company, pay him over $100 million to get a machine that's built to cheat? Because the people at the top, the governor, and that phony Secretary of State are part of this. They wanted the cheating. Dominion is actually incorporated in the U.S. Georgia's election results were counted three times, including by hand, with no widespread cheating found. And the suit quotes members of Georgia's Secretary of State's office in a press conference fact-checking claims involving Dominion. Ridiculous claims that Dominion voting machines are somehow using fractional voting or flipping votes. Again, by doing the hand tally, it shows none of that is true. In the suit, Dominion demands $1.3 billion in damages. Writing employees have been stalked, have been harassed, and have received death threats. And Dominion's reputation has been irreparably damaged. 11 Alive legal analyst Paige Pate says Dominion's lawyers will need to prove a false statement was made, published to other people, and caused some sort of damage. I think it's clear that in this case they have sufficiently shown false statements. I mean, there's no question that all of these allegations against Dominion had no basis in fact. They were proven to be false. So I think it's a very good complaint and a strong lawsuit. And while 1.3 billion in damages is attention grabbing, Tate calls it speculative and not Dominion's main focus. They want this to go to trial. What's more important to them than the money is clearing their name. So I expect this case not to be resolved, not to be settled, and to proceed to trial. And Rudy Giuliani has issued a statement about the lawsuit. In it, he does not address any of the allegations made against him, but says that he will investigate making a countersuit against Dominion.